sponsored by Brilliant. While renewable energy sources like solar and wind have now become cheaper than fossil fuels, developing long-term energy storage is key to overcome their intermittency. Lithium-ion batteries are the state-of-the-art storage technology, but they can only cost-effectively provide energy for about six hours. So what if we could extend the battery duration to 100 hours out of thin air and rust? <laughs> Literally. I'm Matt Farrell. Welcome to Undecided. Solar and wind energy adoption is growing, but they'll never be available 24-7. On top of that, climate change-induced extreme weather events like storms can cause several days of power outages. The booming demand for a more secure and cleaner energy supply is driving the need for storing surplus green energy, so that it can be fed back into the grid on a cloudy day or when the wind isn't blowing. To quench the thirst for carbon-free power, grid operators are investing in today's most mature storage technology, lithium-ion batteries. In the US, the scale of these installations is expected to grow from a current level of 1.5 gigawatts up to hundreds of gigawatts by 2030. After the last heat wave induced blackouts, California has been warming up the race to energy storage. Last year, Vistra Energy began developing the world's largest battery with a 300 megawatt capacity of lithium ion battery technology, along with another 100 megawatt storage unit scheduled to go online this year. The California plant will provide energy for about 300,000 homes for four hours during evenings or whenever a power outage occurs. But what if demand outstrips supply for 24 hours, or even a few days? Lithium-ion systems are better suited for delivering short-term bursts of energy. The downside, their charge dissipates over time, and you need many of them to provide energy for a longer period. Now, while lithium-ion batteries are already at commercial scale, their levelized cost of storage, or the LCOS, doesn't scale well. We're talking about $132 to $245 per megawatt hour for large-scale applications, according to Lazard. You can probably see why cheaper, long-duration energy storage systems would come in handy. So is there anything like that? Well, Form Energy seems to have something in storage for us. The Massachusetts-based startup has developed a rechargeable iron-air battery. The technology isn't exactly new, though. NASA was the first at playing around with it back in 1968, but it was never commercialized because of technical challenges with its components, like the electrodes and the electrolytes. For example, NASA struggled with the hydrogen formation on the anode. Because of this, the electrode had to be overcharged to reach its full capacity. Form Energy has spent years fine-tuning the process and said its innovation will let us have low-cost renewable energy every day of the year. Now, dubbed as a multi-day storage solution, Form's batteries can store large amounts of energy and release it over more than four days. This storage option could tackle the day-to-day -day and seasonal variability of renewable production. The company managed to close $240 million of Series D funding by attracting big investors like Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates' Breakthrough Energy Ventures, and ArcelorMittal, which is one of the world's leading iron ore producers, which will help Form Energy generate the raw material. But how does Form Energy's battery work? Well, think of a box filled with racks of 10 to 20 cells. Every cell is filled with an electrolyte solution, similar to the one used in AA batteries, and two plates, an anode made of iron pellets and an air-breathing cathode. This setup allows an electrochemical redox reaction to happen. Essentially, Form Energy's battery stores electricity through a reversible rusting cycle. Yes, rust. They turn corroded iron pellets into an energy dispenser. The way it works is actually pretty simple. When they expose the tiny iron pellets to air, oxygen will turn them into rust, also known as iron oxide, and that oxidation releases electrons, which is the electricity that can be sent to the grid. To charge up the battery, you basically reverse that process. The incoming electrons will eat up the oxygen and reduce the rust layer until it converts it back into a metallic pellet. Thanks to this e-looping process, the iron-air battery can store energy for much longer than conventional setups. Now, the benefit of this type of technology could be absolutely massive. No matter if you're putting it in Pittsburgh, the cloudiest city in the US, or Oak Ridge, Tennessee, where the wind is calmer than anywhere else in America, you could store and have 100% clean energy for at least four days. Forget about fossil fuels backup. But the thought of that probably raises another question in your mind. How do iron air batteries stack up against other energy storage systems? If you compare them to lithium ion batteries, the gold standard in power storage, Form Energy's devices have a 17 times longer duration. And based on a recent study, a 100 plus hour storage system could have a huge impact on reducing the power generation costs. Although Form Energy hasn't put a price tag on its innovation yet, they claim the technology improvements paired with using extremely abundant materials like iron and air <laughs> would make their batteries 10 times cheaper than lithium-based systems. 
If they managed to go below $20 per kilowatt hour, the integration of their batteries in our energy systems could save billions in electricity costs. Besides being more widely recycled, iron is the fourth most common element on Earth, while lithium is about 2,000 times less plentiful. So you may see why the production of Form Energy's batteries are more sustainable than lithium-based devices in the long run. And it's also safer, and that's because the electrolyte solution isn't flammable, unlike the mixture of lithium salts and organic solvents inside of a typical lithium-ion battery. On the other hand, Form Energy doesn't see their batteries as a replacement for lithium-ion storage systems, but as a complement to them. Lithium-ion batteries are great for fast response actions like frequency regulation or grid stabilization. They also have a high power-to-weight ratio or energy density. That means they can hold a lot of energy while keeping a small size, which is why they're ideal for electric vehicles. In contrast, iron air batteries would be best at storing and supplying large amounts of energy at low power and density, which makes sense given their size. They're nowhere near fitting inside your smartphone and are nearly as large as your EV. Instead, they're designed to be hooked together in grids. But Form Energy isn't the only one working on long duration batteries. The Oregon-based company ESS built a factory producing iron flow batteries back in 2019. One of the company's key achievements was to invent a proton pump that recycles the unwanted hydrogen from the anode into the electrolyte solution. By recirculating the protons into the liquid phase, the pump rebalances the chemistry of the electrolyte and maintains its conductivity, which preserves the battery's efficiency. ESS has recently launched a new scalable and custom-designed system starting from a power capacity of 3 megawatts. However, their commercial plant can only continuously supply power for about 16 hours at most. And it's not just about iron. The Canadian startup Zinc8 has developed a Zinc Air battery that can also provide 100 plus hours of storage. This works pretty much the same way as an iron air system, except you store the energy in zinc particles, which are as big as grains of sand rather than iron pellets. When you need electricity, you combine the charged zinc particles with the oxygen from the air and water to form zincate, an oxidized form of zinc, and it also probably helps to explain the company's name. Now this is then broken down upon recharging to close the loop. It's the same principle, but different price, as the capital cost of a 100 hour zincate battery is $60 per kilowatt hour, which is above the $20 per kilowatt hour threshold that Form Energy may go under. Nevertheless, Zincate has been working towards three pilot projects. Now, the problem with zinc is that it's more prone to form dendrites compared to iron. These crystals pile up on the anode over time, damaging the electrode and affecting its durability. Now, besides iron and zinc, aluminum is another active element that could be used in a metal air battery setup. I've actually got a video I put out a few weeks ago on that exact topic. Aluminum air units are touted to have high energy density and be cheaper and safer than lithium ion batteries. This places them as a potential alternative to lithium ion battery packs and EVs. Now, while you can't recharge the aluminum air battery, you could swap it for a new one at a fuel station and recycle the old one. Looping back to iron air systems, Form Energy touts flexibility as another plus for their technology. Based on the energy demand, tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of modules can be grouped into a megawatt scale power block. Their modular plants can be built anywhere, including urban areas, targeting utility-scale energy needs. All of this sounds electrifying, right? But will it actually work? It's a little too early to tell, since the US startup isn't launching its first pilot until 2023. They'll build a one megawatt plant at the Great River Energy Utilities Minnesota facility. It's gonna take reaching a commercial scale before we know the real feasibility of iron air batteries. Now, according to some researchers, the storage unit should reach an efficiency of 80%, and have a cycle life of 5,000 cycles to withstand a commercial operation. As of today, Form Energy seems to be keeping the efficiency and durability of their devices behind an iron curtain. However, the company appears to be focusing on tech-savvy work. Besides optimizing the electrodes, manufacturing, and cell design, modeling plays a key role. Form Energy appears to be ahead of the simulation game with their grid modeling tool, Formware. By factoring real-world weather variability across the year with hourly resolution, the company toolkit can help design more reliable, cost-effective, and clean power systems that deliver around-the-clock electricity. One of the practical applications of their tool was to assess whether long-duration storage units could cost-effectively replace the energy supply of peaker plants in New York State between 2010 and 2019. According to their estimates, low-cost, multi-day batteries would economically match the operations of 83% of New York's plants. In addition, using long-duration storage alongside lithium-ion batteries, would enable replacing four times more peaker plants compared to using lithium ion based systems alone. Based on data from one of their partners, Form Energy conducted some case studies to compare the cost effectiveness of their higher time resolution model with a standard method using a lower number of data points. 
Results show that Form Energy's more accurate approach would save grid users $27 million per gigawatt of peak demand per year. That's because Formware captured renewables variability across the year much better than conventional models. Long-lasting energy storage will be essential to increase the utilization of renewables and leave fossil fuels underground. Combined with lithium-ion batteries, the iron air systems could accelerate the transition to carbon-free electricity. While its feasibility will still need to be proven out, this technology holds a lot of promise for recharging the planet's batteries. And if you're interested in learning more about the principles behind iron air batteries and how Form Energy can develop software that accurately predicts performance, I'd strongly recommend checking out the Applied Probability course at Brilliant. I calculated that you'll enjoy this course. Now, I learned how we're able to model the unpredictable world around us, how we're able to calculate outcomes, create weather models, and understand probability in science. It's a fun one that really helped me wrap my head around all of this. But even if that course isn't for you, there's a high probability that they have something that you'll enjoy. They have over 60 courses, including topics in scientific thinking, quantum mechanics, and applied science. They've got something for everybody. Now, all of the concepts are taught through fun and interactive challenges that help you understand the why of something, not just the how. It helps to develop your intuition, which is my favorite part about Brilliant and taps into the way I learn. And it just makes it fun. Go to brilliant.org slash undecided to sign up for free. The first 200 people will get 20% off their annual premium membership. Thanks to Brilliant and to all of you for supporting the channel. But what do you think? Do you think iron air batteries have a shot at becoming one of the go-to energy storage technologies for the grid? Jump in the comments and let me know. And a special welcome to new Patreon producers, Calvin Vett, TJ Thompson, and the Norcross family, and Supporter Plus member Armando Maraglia. Your direct support on Patreon really helps with producing these videos. And speaking of which, if you like this video, be sure to check out one of the ones I've linked to right here, and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you think I've earned it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.